Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Hey people, it's the Pilgrim and we're going to go after the artifact of the Brute and the artifact of the Devourer on Bulgaro, Balgaro. I'll get that right one day. Right, uh, cards 4485 around about on the side of this mountain. If you spawn at Jungle 3, if you die, this is sort of the spot, if you want to get an idea where it is. There's a green obelisk. And obviously you're going to come up here with a bunch of equipment and everything, whatever you need. And you've got a bridge, I think that's the bridge off the um, trailer actually, where the Allosaurus was chasing the characters. And you've got this staircase here, and it heads straight through the side of the mountain. And what you want to do, just follow the staircase right to the top. And by the time you go hunting for artifacts and stuff, you're going to have uh, flyers and everything, but... This just gives you a good idea of where you're heading. And you'll come to this ruin here. Some really beautiful graphics as well. Got these little aqueducts at the side just pouring into the little pond in front. And there's this big old temple door. It's got a real like Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, what Tomb Raider sort of feel to it and the switch is there on the left hand side just near the door and we're at 46 87 so that's a doorway and head inside the other switch to shut the door uh, to open it again later on is just on the wall there you can see it I went and grabbed myself some equipment I put the gamma up a little bit because it got no, you can see there it just descends into darkness right away so put some night vision goggles on but you don't need them really just grab yourself a torch had a quick look around there's a doorway there you come back out of that later on and then back here there was another room with this little like pedestal on it so I used a torch and there was nothing there. I jumped around it and sort of pressed E in case there was a switch in it or something. Um, I don't know if it was that that did it, but from then on uh, it was all pretty bright. Uh, it might have just been because I lit the torch down here or something. No idea. But I could see everywhere I was going then. Um, I actually turned building on in caves off so I could look for some you know, small caves where you could build on official. And... Um, it let me build down here still so I'm not too sure if it's a thing but I just stuck a bed down in case anything went wrong right you've got this bit here you can see like the shaft of light coming down uh, you can't really get lost it's straightforward and we're heading down you've got electric eels and I think there's animites down there as well you can just see them on the right there and sort of every little body of water in here has got that so be prepared I just shot him in case he caused me any trouble later. But to be honest, I'm in creative mode, so. And this is at the bottom of that. Drop off into the water. And you've got these, like, um, I don't know what they are, really. Like, artifacts. It's all that, like, glowing, looks like tech almost coming out of it. But I tried clicking on it, nothing happens. Then around this area, all this is is a straight tunnel down and then a circle of like this this corridor going right the way around that, that water body. If you come down this tunnel there, you see that tunnel on the right there? That heads down to the artifact. But I just wanted to check out the rest of the area just in case there was anything else before I went down there. And one thing I do want to point out is we're on the other side from where we dropped in now. Where you come, you'll see this tree growing up through into the roof and that rock straight ahead over there that's breakable and there's another pathway through there to get back up later on so if you come down here with dinosaurs or if you're on foot um, that's, that's the best way out it's the only way out to be honest right we're back at this split corridor so we're heading down the right hand side this time bit of a run down to the bottom 
Uh, I did this on my single player and I knocked the dinos down to 0 0.8 instead of having it on one. So there might be a few more creatures down here when you try it properly. There we go. This is at the bottom of that long corridor. And we've got the artifact of the brute. That was easy enough to find. That's the first artifact. And then round there, I had to check around this room. There's no way out that I could find, and there was nothing else really. I think there was um, a supply crate down in the water here. Yeah, down at the bottom. Uh, so what I did, I grabbed some more equipment. I've been on a bit of a scouting mission and found out where to go. Um, come back with some more gear. And we're back at where we shot the eels in the water before. So we're heading back towards that vine tree. Now that rock I pointed out earlier is there on the left. And we're at 45 nighter if you're looking for it. And then I ran at this wall and tried to smash it down and then realised I was at the wrong spot. There it is. <laughs> so just to give you an idea, tree, corner, smash brick, smash rock, and then this heads to the artifact of the devourer. Gets a bit crazy around there, you've got some stuff to fight in a bit. Just a, another tunnel just goes all the way down. Um, I had a quick look around this area in case there was another artifact hanging around. So it looked like a type of room that might have had one, um, but there was another supply crate down there. Couldn't find anything else. Then, yeah, just keep going. This little bit here goes underwater. There's quite a lot of water sections now, but I don't think you, you won't need equipment for any of them. They're easy to swim through. Uh, especially on the way out as well, there's quite a few water sections. So as you come into this bit here, you just head into the left hand corner of this room. And it just dips in a bit. And then as you come out into here, this room is massive. There's, um, there's like little plateaus all the way around and there's like a, a little valley in between them all that's cut in and it's just full of bugs and bats, spiders, just all the nasty stuff that wants to kill you. So I got zip lines and used the um, the track thing. I thought I was being clever staying around the outskirts and staying high up away from everything but a bunch of bats got me. Good thing is they're all pretty low level, it's easy enough to finish them off. And the artifact of the devourer is actually high up in a little alcove right in the roof. It's not too easy to see really, if you come running in here, it's kind of blocked by the big pillar in the centre. So you wouldn't really notice it if you were heading for the tunnel out of this section at the other side. So I just used the thing to get across there, jumped off with some picks and hooked back onto the next zip line. Fired that to that central pillar. So let's see where I am there. Get a good view of the room. And there's the artifact up there. Let's use the zip line again, fired that across. I um, think the new dinosaurs would be good for this place with them being able to climb and glide and everything. It'd be perfect if you can get them down here. There we go, gives you an idea of where it is. And if you're running around the room and you, you've got plenty of shotguns and a few of your tribe mates with you, it wouldn't be any, uh, too difficult to get hold of if you just use climbing picks to get up there. And there's a the second artifact. I think once you start this on official, um, can you download your own character into it? So you'd have all your engrams from all the other ones anyway. So it's only a matter of sort of getting sorted and then getting all this stuff built and going down there really. 
yeah I only attracted one more back doing that then so that was pretty cool right so you come to this end and it's just water tunnels now but like I said none of them are dead long or anything so the entrance to this tunnel is around there 49 same again electric eels And it's just a long tunnel and I think there's a couple more of them they've done them like stairs so you sort of jump in swim up to the next level jump in swim up to the next level so a quick check around it's weird there if you look down um, all the graphics disappear underneath you don't know if it's a bit of a glitch on my end or the, the actual map itself and you come out into here there's a bit of a stairway and you're back at that door from the beginning there you go, switch on the wall on the right hand side and you're back at the start all sorted but I really like this place it's got a proper sort of, like I said, Tomb Raider feel to it be a laugh as well if you're like with your whole tribe load of weapons and stuff going down there right, and there you go, you got Artifact of the Brute and the Devourer all sorted Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching, uh, check out the rest of the channel if you get a chance, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting and all that stuff, and I will catch you later.